Well, hey guys, Keith of Alaska in Dual Sport, and today I'm out uh, working on a project here in my garage. Last time I went riding on a big group ride, my uh, grandson Adam, his bike that he rides, the uh, chain broke, and this sprocket is totally wore out. There's like hardly any teeth. The chain was just going right around it, so. I ordered him a new sprocket for the back and the front and a new chain. So it should be here any day. So I'm going to go ahead and take all these things off and and uh, prepare for that uh, those new parts. All right, so we got the wheel off. That didn't take long. Oops. Looks like I need some new brake pads, too. Well, we might as well go ahead and take off this side so we can get to that front sprocket. Ah, come on up out of there. There we go. Well, it's finally Friday and uh, the parts for the XT225 finally came. So let's see here. We've got a front sprocket, We've got a new rear sprocket, and a brand new chain. So let's compare these uh, two sp old sprocket and the new sprocket. So there's the old sprocket. You can see it hardly has any teeth. Ooh, and there's the new one. It's definitely got some teeth. It looks like the patterns all match up, so look at the difference. Look how much farther the teeth stick out. It's going to make a huge difference. Wow, did I just really screw up. I put this on and I went around to the other side and I'm like, wait a minute, something doesn't look right. The sprocket's supposed to be on the other side. So let's flip this around. What a stupid mistake. All right, so that looks a lot better so far. All right, so I'm gonna leave that loose until we install the chain. And so here's the front sprocket that I'm gonna take off next.
Well, that was easy. So these teeth are fatter and these teeth are skinnier. If you compare them, look at that. They're real skinny and pointy where these are more fat. So it definitely needs replaced. Putting the same gearing in, 15 teeth in the front and 45 in the back, which is the stock. Should have took this opportunity to upgrade it, but I, I just didn't think about it at the time. I was just thinking about getting the bike going. All right, so let's put the new one on. Not really worried about putting the chain on because it's uh, should be, you know, in a broken piece with the master link. So sweet. All right, two new sprockets installed. Let's put the chain on now. All right, here's the chain that came with it, a Velar Motorsports heavy duty drive chain. But it doesn't have, what do they call the O-rings or whatever, so it has to be lubricated and cleaned. Don't lose that, that's the master link. Ooh, it's all lubricated already. Well, let's see if we can get this cover back on. <laughs> A lot easier than coming off. Well, and I think one of the last things to do is to put these brakes back on. Hmm. Well, I just adjusted the chain. We're on one notch past one, heading towards two. When, before this uh, was changed, we were up between eight and nine so that's the difference so this should work a lot better all right so all that's left is just to tighten down this bolt give it a test drive okay so let's take this thing for a little test drive Make sure it's all working. It has no back brakes, need to tighten those up. Back 
tire definitely needs needs adjusted. Hey, we'll try that.